Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a fillable form in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so I'm here in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. It sounds like a superhero character. And I've got a example of a form that was created and is now a PDF and you want to make it fillable. So after you've loaded it up here in Adobe Acrobat, you want to head over to either more tools if you don't see prepare form. So I'll just click on it just to show you guys, just in case you don't see anything like prepare form. So you click on more tools and then you're going to see like all this other stuff and then click on prepare form. And then it's going to say which one. So this is the one, it's the one that I have loaded up. So I'm going to click start. And what's cool is Adobe Acrobat Pro has this option where it can detect uh, places that are fillable. And if it can detect it, it's going to create a fillable box for it already rather than you having to do it manually. Now I will say it doesn't get it correct all the time, but most of the time it does and it's actually quite useful when it does get it correct. If it doesn't get it correct, you can easily delete it and manually do it yourself. So I'm just going to leave this here and it's called form field auto detection. It's on and I've left it on, but you can turn it off if you don't want it. So I'm going to click start. And you'll see now that it automatically pretty much did the fillable areas. So these were like boxes that were fillable. Now I just have to check this in the preview section to see if they did that correctly. All right, so yeah, it is done correctly. So as you can see, it even did this option right here where you can choose any numbers and this here area is fillable, although this font might be too large, so I would need to edit that. But let's say this didn't do it correctly. You would pretty much in here, these are all the tools here at the top that you need to make your form fillable in either like drop downs or fill in boxes, check boxes. So you can see that this did this one for me, but let's say here this one, it didn't do this here. It didn't do name, date, and session so far. So basically what you would do is click on this, add a text field. If you hover over things, it'll let you know what it is. So this is checkbox and you can also kind of tell. So this is like those circle things, they're called radio buttons. And then this is a list of choices. And this is a drop down list. And this is a add, adding a print kind of button or a clear button. This is adding an image field, adding a date field. And this is the option to add a digital signature. And you can add a barcode field. Not sure what that would be for. So let's do these ones real quick here. So these are just basic typing in fields. So I'm going to click this right here. And then it's going to show up like this. And then you just drag it. Now you, you might need to zoom in so that you can see that you're doing it properly. So I'm going to zoom in some more actually, because it might not be exact. Actually, I'm, I'm too zoomed in. Okay. Name the field. I'm going to call it name. Okay. And that looks okay. So if you want to alter the properties of it, like font size and things like that, you go to properties and then head to appearance. And then right here, the font size is 12 and then it's this font right here. So you can actually change that. They have a limited amount of fonts, but you can actually make this smaller as well. So after you're done, you can just click close. Let's say I wanted a checkbox. Let's just pretend here. For example, I'm going to click this. I'll make my checkbox. And then this is the date. And then if you go to preview, preview, when you click on that, that's when you, you'll be able to test things out. 
So you won't be able to test it while you're in the edit. You're just clicking it and you can just move it around. Preview is where you can actually click on it and now it'll do a checkbox as well. So that is how you add fillable form fields in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. If I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.